subscribe to our YouTube channel, and turn on notifications for the latest updates. Hurricane Hannah is now inland over extreme southern Texas, bringing with it torrential rainfall, storm surge, and life-threatening winds. The storm is down from its peak, but still a Category 1 hurricane with maximum sustained winds of 75 miles an hour and a minimum pressure of 979 millibars as of 10 p.m. Central Time this July the 25th. The storm is currently located at 26.6 degrees north, 98 degrees west, a stage 5 on the CDPS scale, major damage possible, not only because of the wind field that still exists from the storm, but it can still dump upwards of 10 inches of rain over multiple land areas in southern Texas and northern Mexico. It's in land now and is close to these locations right now, McAllen 26 miles away, Harlingen 29, Brownsville 50, these are all closer to where the storm is heading or impacting directly right now the most with rainfall. Corpus Christi 79 miles away, uh, they're getting tropical storm force winds right now from the system and Rockport a bit further away, not seeing the same conditions anymore. There are a lot of warnings still in place, a hurricane warning from Port Mansfield to Baffin Bay, Texas, a tropical storm warning from Bar El Mesquital in Mexico to Port Mansfield in Texas, and from Baffin Bay to Port O'Connor in Texas, along with the storm surge warning a bit to the north of the center of the storm as well. Here's a GFS precipitation model along with cloud cover because the air of influence associated with HANA move into Mexico uh, over the next two days and rapidly lose organization and dissipate. The rough terrain of northern Mexico will obliterate this system, fortunately. However, this does mean that rainfall totals over this region could get extremely high. Uh, earlier today, the National Hurricane Center was saying that up to 20 inches could still fall over parts of northern Mexico, additional on top of what's already fallen. Sea surface temperatures look like this, they don't really matter anymore because the storm's inland, but if you're wondering, over the Gulf of Mexico, still generally 30s and 29 degrees Celsius, uh, a bit cooler right on shore where the storm made landfall earlier today in southern Texas, but this won't really be mattering anymore since the storm's inland, the energy that it would be getting from the ocean uh, is zero at this point. Here's the GFS uh, wind model, a bit late on the initialization, you can see it's the 18Z run, uh, brings it into southern Texas, dives it in towards... Uh, northern Mexico and dissipates the storm pretty quickly uh, by the day two mark this thing so fortunately uh, be history uh, at least in terms of its winds completely uh, the rainfall though still the largest threat from this as we head forward however at the exact center where hurricane force winds are still occurring uh, and on the coastal areas where storm surge is still taking place that is still a major concern and at the very end there you can actually see a potential tropical cyclone next week that we have to keep track of Chance of tropical storm force winds look like this. All the locations listed right now in far southern Texas at 99% chance. That's because they are basically getting tropical storm force winds right now. Actually, they are, to correct myself. Uh, but you can't go 100% with the National Hurricane Center's forecast on that. So they go with 99. Here's the model spread. Uh, this has definitely been adjusted since. Uh, slightly dared down to the south a bit more. Uh, overall, this system is inland now, though. Uh, these models are a bit late on the initialization. They are the 18Z runs. Uh, the system's going to dive down to the uh, west-southwest and then maybe a bit more of a tilt to the southwest as we head into Mexico and dissipate, uh, fortunately, uh, as we head towards day two to three at this point. Here's the latest satellite imagery of the storm. You can see its eye is more clear and visible in satellite imagery uh, inland than it ever was uh, when it was fully over water. Uh, you could argue, though, at this point that some of this is becoming uh, more clear due to dry air than the actual uh, consistency with the storm. Regardless, though, it makes it a bit easier to track where the exact center of the system is. About to cross into Mexico right now. Uh, Force 13 will be keeping you up with the latest information. We have our automated live stream keeping track of the storm as well. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more updates. If you're in southern Texas or northern Mexico, please stay safe and vigilant and listen to local officials about your exact location. You can follow us on our outlets, force13.com for web articles and the live cyclone tracker. You can also find us here on YouTube if you're not watching here already. Make sure to subscribe. We're also on Facebook. It's Force13 to find our latest posts there. And we're also on Twitter. It's at Force13 to ask us a question on that platform. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. More information can be found at patreon.com forward slash force13. Or you can become an ultimate fan right here on YouTube for perks and to directly support the project and our future endeavors in these times. You can also find us on Discord to communicate with us on our Discord server. Link is in the description below and you can message Fool13 at extension 9094.